Hello everyone, this is Anton and I want to thank you for your interest in my photo animator. In this short tutorial I want to show you how the layer rig works and also how to use the regular photo animator functions and the layer rig at the same time. So I've prepared a picture and some plates and I'm just going to show you. Okay, so first of all you're going to import uh, the picture which you want to animate with the photo animator. In this case it is a landscape picture. I'm importing it. So um, first of all you have to put it into the put source composition. Put source composition. You double click on it then you can drag your landscape picture in here. You scale it until it fits the frame like this. Then you have to go and set a mask. You have to double click on the uh, set mask composition. Here you're going to create the mask which the photo animator uses to uh, create the depth in the picture. So you usually want to uh, mask everything that is uh, in the back of the picture, in the far background, and also try to uh, have the mask match the landscape. I would draw in this example a mask something like this. Now we've drawn the mask for the environment. Now you can already go into the animation composition you, and you see that layers have been created. Um, what you want to do first is click on the control layer down here and open the control effects up here. So then you're going to see all the controls you have over these layers. Um, to set up the picture you, you want to increase the layer size to uh, the whole picture is uh, covered in layers. As you can see every second layer is tinted dark. This is done because uh, you're better able to work with the animator when you see how each layer behaves. So um, I'm going to disable it right now just to show you that you can already with this one mask you can already start animating the whole picture. You can move the background with the waiting more on the background. You can uh, move the picture with the waiting more on the far foreground. You can also uh, fly into the picture something like this. You can add a camera blur and have the focus on the foreground layer or move it back to the background layer. And you, by setting keyframes you can animate all these things of course. We're going to do that in a second. Um, but before I'm going to show you how to add your own plates uh, to this composition. Of course you don't need plates to do the animation. As you can see you can do everything with this landscape right in here. But for this example I want to show you how to add plates if you like to. Um, so first of all I'm going to import the plates. I'm going to double click in here. I've created those in Photoshop. These are four PNG files. As you can see, I have named them background, foreground, middle ground one, middle ground two. So to put those plates, you have to open the layers. Um, you, you saw all these different layers um, right here. Here are eight layers. The far background is layer number eight and the foreground is layer number one. So if you go to the project, you can open all those layers. Um, the plates that I have created are balloons, which I want to add into this animation. So um, the foreground is a balloon very near to the camera, so I'm going to open the layer 1 composition. So here you can see layer number 1. It is 
uh, everything that is down here. Everything that is green is beneath the first foreground layer. So you can add things on top of this. You can also uh, change the mask if you want. But in this example I'm going to show you how to put other things on this layer. So uh, we wanted the foreground layer on this layer. So it's a balloon right here. So this is now on this layer. Um, so the next layer, I, I'm choosing layer number three. It's a little further in the background. You can see layer number three in the photo animator. It's some of the sky, something of the sky, and also down here, a bit of the landscape. Um, but now I'm going to add some balloons uh, to this layer. It's this plate. So we have two balloons on this layer now. Then we're going to layer number five and add some more balloons. You can also see uh, the red color right here will be covered by the layer on top of it, which is layer number four in this example. The thing that is green is layer number six, so you can cover layer number six with everything that is on layer number five. So now we are covering la layer number six and everything beneath it with uh, these balloons on layer number five. And then I have another plate. I'm going to put those at layer number seven. Some more balloons. Something like this. As you can see, they will be covered a little bit by the sky because they are nearer to the camera, so they will be covered. So I'm going to just going to drag them just a little bit down out of the red. And that's basically it. We can go into the animation and see all the balloons are right here. We can move the camera and see they all move accordingly. We can go into the controls open the tab up here, fly into the picture and we see they are part of this environment. So let's do a quick animation. I'm going to set the time. I want to have the animation run for three seconds. So I'm going to time zero. So first of all I'm going to, I want to fly into the scenery. So this is being done with this uh, slider called Expansion Contraction of Target. So the Expansion Contraction will mostly affect the layers furthest from the mask. So if I'm going to slide this slide, you can see layer number one down here and up there, they are being affected most. So to animate this, uh, you just have to click the stopwatch. Then I'm going back in time to the three second mark and maybe move something like this. If we now hit zero for a render preview, we can already see the camera moves inside of this picture. But that is of course not enough. We want to add more cool things. Something like some camera movement, not just flying in there, but turning the camera a little. So I'm going to time zero again with the slider, with the playhead. I'm going to hit uh, yellow, red, and blue with shift. Hit P for position. Enemy made or uh, create keyframes for the first position. Then I'm starting with something like this. Um, so we have created the first keyframes, and then we go back at the end of the animation. So maybe we want to move the red crosshair, which moves, uh, by the way, uh, with the weighting more of the off target, so everything that is nearer to the camera. And uh, we want to have the blue crosshair, which is, has the weighting more on the background. Move something like this. 
Then we hit zero again for a render preview. Now we can see that the camera goes down a little and looks a little bit up. That already looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> and then I want also to add some camera blur. So we click on the controls layer and we get the settings again. Then we're going to add some blurring, maybe something like this. So uh, the blurring is set as 20 and you can see the focus, focus is at layer 1. So at layer 1 we put the balloon. So the balloon and uh, the landscape down here is in focus right now. We want to animate this value. So we click on the stopwatch and maybe at the 2 second mark we want to have the focus on the balloons back here. As we remember, we've put the balloons on layer number 7. Now we have to just put the focus also on, num uh, on layer number 7 and they are in focus. And the focus is being pulled from layer number 1 up to num layer number 7. We're going to hit 0 for a render preview. And that's it. A nice animation with a landscape uh, created with the photo animator and also some plates put onto these layers. You can also just use the layer rig and put background, foreground and everything um, without the landscape and have just used the layer rig uh, without the background being sliced into layers. But of course you can also use just the photo animator functions and don't put uh, plates on top of it. It depends what you want to do. Uh, I just wanted to give you the most flexibility to use it as you like. Okay, I hope you liked the, watching the tutorial and I wish you a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.